Now in this lesson we work on addition of fractions. Examples. Part A, one fifth plus two fifths. Let's draw a diagram. We're dealing with fifths. Let's break up this whole into fifths. And we start with one fifth. Let's shade one fifth in. And we're going to be adding two fifths. So let's shade in two fifths, a different colour. So to add one fifth plus two fifths, all right, we combine the two, we get the answer as being three fifths. Now let's have a look. We're dealing with fifths in the question, and the answer is also in fifths, very important. On the top, one plus two is three. The next question, three eighths plus two eighths. Again, let's draw a diagram. We're dealing with eighths, so let's break up this hole into eight equal pieces. Now three eighths, let's shade that in. One, two, three. We're going to be adding two eighths. Let's shade in another two. One, two. So altogether, three eighths plus two eighths will equal five eighths. Again, look at the question. We had eighths in the question. The answer was also in terms of eighths. And on the top, three plus two was five. Okay. Two sevenths plus three sevenths. Let's draw a diagram. We're dealing with sevenths, so let's break this up into sevenths. We have two sevenths to start with. And then we have another three sevenths. So when we add the two lots together, we get five sevenths completely. Okay, again, let's have a look. We started with sevenths. Okay, the answer is in sevenths as well. And then on the top, two plus three is five. Right, let's see if we can do these ones without a diagram. Five ninths plus two ninths. Well, we're dealing with ninths, so our answer will be in terms of ninths as well. And we have five of them plus two of them, that's seven. So our answer there, seven ninths. The next one, 11 twentieths plus 6 twentieths. Well, we're dealing with twentieths, so our answer will be in terms of twentieths. We have 11 plus 6 equals 17. So our